Hey everyone, it is Saturday, August 5th. The time is 3.26 p.m. and the temperature here in Paris is around 18 degrees Celsius. And I am here in the 18th arrondissement, known as Montmere. And that is a look, I believe, to the south. And I am near the summit of this hill or mountain. And there is a look up at the famous Sacre Coeur. I am sure I am mispronouncing many things already. And for this one, I'll be taking a walk around this area. Starting from up top here. And we're gonna go check out a little square in a moment that Excuse me, has a <laughs> number of artists and cafes that's quite neat. And then I'll make my way down from this area, pretty much all the way down to the bottom of the hill here. <laughs> and I will try to make my way over to where Moulin Rouge is. And as you can see, it is very crowded. And it is unseasonably cool right now. So this cathedral here was actually built between 1875 and 1914. And it's famous for its high location and those great views of Paris. And when I was making my way over here, I came across a rather shady game of three card money. Actually, they were doing it with balls and a cup, or rather three cups and a ball. And that might have cleared up. Those games don't last for long. As soon as they get whiff of anyone being onto them, they tend to close up shop. So we're just going to go check out this little art area. And then I'll loop back around and we'll head down that mountain with the great view. Oh, here it is. Look, attention, be careful one more time. Here's a far away little one. And this guy here. <laughs> on the left seems to be his banker. But when I walked by earlier, someone had won. That guy lost. But the way they do it is they work with a large group of people. They have lookouts. And they have some people that play a game, they lose, and they play a game again. And then they win, and then they play again, and they win. But of course, they're just a plant, and that gets unsuspecting onlookers to think maybe they can win too. And it is not cheap. They're betting 50 or 100 euros at a time. Right. 
and there's a National Geographic series called Scam City, which you can actually see on YouTube. That's quite excellent. And they did an episode in Paris, and they came to this square right here. This, I believe, is known as Pla de Terte. There's a lot of cafes here. These are a bit more expensive than what you'll find where else in the city. But this square in particular is known for its art. I just want to take a peek down this street. I have not been this way. There's a police car making its way up here. There's a lot of artists here that will draw your portrait or a character. <laughs> Paris seems to be a city that's all about the people watching. There's a number of art shops here selling prints. Although, from what I saw in Scam City, a lot of them aren't genuine. So you can end up spending a fair bit for something that is not authentic. This gallery has a bust of Batman in it. All right. And in that episode of Scam City, he sat at one of these cafes, and on a few occasions, artists approached him and just started drawing his picture. Perhaps like this here. Although they started without his permission and then they wanted money from him, so be careful if you're in the area. Just look at some of the prices. Crepes here, 11. I just had a ham and cheese crepe for 8.50 down at the bottom of the hill. I asked you and you said no, yeah. and I, I knew that you All right, let's start walking down this big hill.
was a little train service I saw here. There's also a funicular. And you'll notice a lot of these little digital art tags or whatever you want to call them on various buildings around Paris. But full disclosure, this is my first time here. There's certainly more informational videos available on YouTube. Eiffel Tower is off in that direction. Oh, there's a view of it. I was there yesterday. This will take you down to the bottom. How much are tickets? I'm going to use this roller ball. Oh, I guess it uses your existing transit pass. So we're back to the stairs where I started recording. And I think there was a scene in John Wick 4 recorded on one of these sets of staircases. And it's back to this amazing view. These people are moving awfully gingerly down these stairs. As expecting, it would be moving a little faster than this. Thank you. 
Polula. Allah. But we're rewarded with a nice fountain. And a slightly less impressive view. So there's a number of different subway stations you can take to get up to this area. I would recommend just using Google Maps to sort out your route. I went to a station called Pigal and I walked up from there. I chose to come this way. Oh, there's a carousel down here. <laughs> Hi, where are you from? Sorry. Didn't really wish to engage a potential scammer. Sometimes someone will talk to you and they'll distract you and then someone will come up and try to pull your wallet. I'm not saying that was the case there, but definitely be on your guard. Beautiful view. And you could continue south here down to, I believe, Anvers Station. I think there's a rather famous mural in this direction. One that has I love you translated in numerous different languages. Let's see if I can find it. There's the bottom of the funicular. That is not really worth it at all unless you really have trouble with steps. I thought it might have gone all the way down.
margarita pizza, nine euros. I think that mural is just over here. Again, I am not very familiar with here. But we need to keep walking this way. The Paris Rubber Duck Store. That's a school on the left. Look at this tiny house. And look at this. And a carousel set up. And here's the metro station. Abbasis. They've got that sort of gothic font. That station, this is number 12. That dates back to 1913, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it is crowded here, but there's that mural with
I love you translated numerous times. Well, that was something. All right, let's continue along the street here. I think this is the direction I need to keep going to hit Moulin Rouge. What I'm looking for is a street called Lepic, which I believe is marked as a historical shopping street. And we have a fork in the road here. I know some of the remaining windmills in this area are up that way. Up near the top of the hill, but we'll see a windmill in front of Moulin Rouge. Oh, look how nice this cafe looks. So this street, what is this called? Oh, this is named after the subway station, Rue de Abbasis. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. Paris is one of those cities where you could just wander around aimlessly forever. And everywhere you turn, there's going to be life. Whereas North American cities seem to center around sort of main streets and things are generally quieter once you deviate from them. And from what I've been told, August is a time when a lot of Europeans are on vacation and tend to travel. So there's a higher number of European tourists at this particular time of year. Including people from other parts of France. Oh, hey, look, we see one of the 
original Romanian windmills. There's two of them up there. It is not spinning. All right, so I want to go left. Um, Rulepic, I believe. Oh, it says Hotel 29. It must be this one. Let's see. Right near the base of this, we should find the La Rouge, a famous cabaret. One year ago, I was in Amsterdam and they have a very different Moulin Rouge in the red light district. And there'll also be a subway station down here. Well, there's a quieter street. I do have my gear with me and I'm thinking of live streaming right after this. Maybe as part of that stream, I'll climb back up to that view at Sacre Coeur. But I believe Milan Rouge is just around the corner from here. This is a large boulevard. <laughs> that bakery looks pretty popular. <laughs> Oh, there we go, just on the right of here. The famous Moulin Rouge. There's the ticket office. I believe it's 185 euros if you want to see a show including a meal. Let's just cross the street and get a better look at it. And 
as soon as the light changes here, but Moulin Rouge, Rouge is a cabaret that opened back in 1889. Although the original building was destroyed in 1915, We'll get a better view of it once I cross here. And this would be the replacement. And I think this is home to the famous Can Can Dance, although they do change the show from time to time. It is not to be confused with the Amsterdam Moulin Rouge. Let's just go over to the station here. I've got the walk sign. I just snapped a picture. of the cabaret. So that is Blanche subway station, or a metro as they call it. And that opened back in 1902. All right, and I'm just gonna go see what the boulevard in the middle is like, and then maybe we'll wrap this one up. So this one is on line number two. And this is nice, so they have the bike lane here. And a pedestrian area in the middle, but oh, this looks like lap dance. Not quite exactly Moulin Rouge, La Diva, maybe <laughs> some seedier competition right next to Supermarche Erotique. Oh, I think we've wandered into a certain particular kind of district. And over there, we have a sex store. Oh, and a public toilet. Yellow means occupied. This means it's vacant. There's a wash cycle. You don't want to go in when that light is on, and that means it's out of order. Apparently these are free. Sort of. Oh, and there's a water on this side, that's neat. I guess you press this. Free water, courtesy of the public toilet. And there's a map of where we are, and it has started to rain, so I'm gonna wrap this one up. I hope you enjoyed it. Walking around Montmer. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. If you wish to support what I do on YouTube, there's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership down in the description. I have a Instagram account at Johnny Strides, and there is a super thanks button appearing below the video if you wish to say thanks that way. Anywho, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Au revoir.